Wag na natin patagalin to. This is game one of the fourth series that we'll have in the first day of our week five. Big shout out sa karim pala kay Coach Adnap. Mga kaibigan kanina na panap ng camera natin. On the blue side, ay ang Brand Esports. We got EJ here for the X-Borg. He's the man for Lolita. UG on the Lilia. Coco for the Thamus and Doc Rebo para syempre sa Esmeralda. Para sa itong Archangel, it's going to be Lusty on the Terizla. Jeff Cutie forever on that carry. Rio will be playing the Lunox J as the Cho and Kilowash ang gagamit ng badang dalawang beses na yan. Yeah, may dalawang beses na yan. <laughs> mga kaibigan, of course, no aggressive invasions are being witness here para dito sa ating laro. Pero uh, again, uh, alam natin na kumbaga may babantayan ka, that would be of the Lilias DPS. Yeah, especially when you're trying to duel up. And of course, the peak of capacities na pwedeng gawin dito ng Archangel. I would have guessed na siguro magkakaroon tayo ng first engagement on to, side, on to a side lane. Probably a cut on this yeah. one. Um, it's very weird para sa akin ngayon na yung Archangel dito and yung side ng Brand Esports, they're not really going for the invades. Nga, you know? Just seeing the heroes na meron sila dito, they're very much capable of doing yes. so. Pero si Jay, hinahabot siya dito ni Coco and si Coco talaga, hindi ka tatantanan. Hindi ka tatantanan. Kung si Pusakin hindi umaamin, si Coco hindi ka tatantanan. Not to mention level 2 lang yun against the level 3 Cho. He knows how capable of the damage is in dueling up against a Cho like that. Pero, inabutan ng shoot po dito si Coco. Kaunting airborne pero hindi na follow up ni paring Rio. No Chaos Darkening will be used. Okay, so right now, all the, uh, all the heroes dito on the map is trying to get to level 4. Uh -huh. That's the way para maku alam nilang makuha nila dito yung pinakaunang teamfight. And this is, uh, technically, is tama yung sinabi ng panel natin. Uh -huh. This is old. This is the old meta <laughs> na ginagamit nila. This is the old tempo, the old pacing na hinahanap ng mga teams na to just because there are old souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by meaning, meaning ko ng old souls, sila yung mga team na dati pa talaga. Pero talaga. dito mga kaibigan, Oy, nako yung spirito dito, merong tira ng torrent at humama din kay Doc Rebo, apat na gomo-gomo no. Napkinas dito ni Kilomas. Di ba natin nasilip doon na maalam na kaagad si Lunox ngayon as he is secured there by, here by Yuji. O oh, nga no, gomo-gomo pala yan. No? Gomo-gomo si doon. Monkey, man. Si Monkey Badang. Monkey Badang. <laughs> oh. Si Monkey Di Badang. Oh. Si Monkey Badang. Oh, oh. Monkey Di Badang. Oh. Tough boots dito will go to Jay. Alam din na Jay talaga dito na kailangan niya. But right now, on the bottom lane, Rebo dito. Still trying to take down Kilowash. Kilowash dito. Naibit sa sarili niyang bato. Oh! oh! Wala. Napasigaw Wala. lang tayo. Napasigaw lang tayo. Hype tank. Sound, sound check lang po sa boses namin. Mga... Akala ko talaga may psychong magagawa dito si Paring Kilowash. It doesn't matter though. No. Mga kaibigan, patay na rin doon. Si Paring last thing ngayon under the terrace sila. Or the Brilliant's getting burned against kay Rio. And so far, Brand Esports gonna be leading this one in the 3-4-0. Do me blast. Ladies and gentlemen, onto the mid lane side. That is gonna be Rio. Secure din naman dito. Apat na backup down in by Hayes. And Brand Esports looking sharp as ever. Archangel dito. They can't really get anything out of the map. Look at the gold lead dito. That is almost 2,500 Lucky. gold uh -oh. going to the side of Brand Esports. This is the control na hinaharap ng Brand Esports. If they get this certain tempo, it will be very hard to contest UG kapag ka binigyan mo siya ng 2-0 agad. Yes, yes. Lalo na si UG with that kind of consistency. Ang, ang, ang guess ko dyan, mas lalo magiging agresibo yung Brand Esports kasi gano'n naman talaga din. Senya doon ang Lilia and I'm not so sure even yung side laner nila, si Kiluas, na normally hindi basta-basta na mga na-check din ngayon on his badang pangalawang best na yan. Malawang best na yan. <laughs> Coco, UG, and EJ dito still trying to go for Jeff. Jeff dito with a phantom step. Coco getting caught out by that slow. Slaughter sites will go back. And uh, Brand Esports just invading at will. Uh -oh. Well, uh, let's see ngayon. Brand gonna be oh, staying here from the top lane side. But back up doon, si Paring J, this top lane, could surely be going down. But of course, Brand is gonna be keeping their distance. Brimit lang yata si Paring Glass, Tiri, Giggs, Dino, si Paring EJ. And last insanity, casted here. Chopper sa mukha dito ng Terisla there. And that's it. Dikulang na lang ng minion wave para makakuha ng push dito. Brand. Okay, so right now, look at the map. Kala dito ni Kilowash pupunta yung dalawa sa may taas. The only problem is, bumaba sila dun sa may middle lane. So that means, yung minion wave na yun, naghati-hati pa sila. Uh -oh. And that is why the economy dito for the side of Archangels is, uh, sabihin natin, talagang magulo. Yes, yes. Actually, si EJ na lang at si isang level 6. Kumpara ngayon sa mga member dito na apat pa ang 6 sa side ng Archangel. Per level, tingnan mo pa lang, ganun na kaagad yung labang ng Brent. Not to mention the gold lang din. And we got the position there. Nauna dapat yung Archangel sa turtle na yan, pero hindi. Brent na ngayon ang kumukontest. Last year to the side, Jay naman. Minarshal Arts dito si Paring Hayes. Oh! Dark, 
Lexford! Grabe Pag Lexi! Pag Lexi, galawang kaya po, Lexo! At doon sa may pinakalikod, penalty zone sa apat, pero walang follow up. Naluha si Lasty doon. Ang ganda nung, ano niya, ang ganda ng initiate niya. Alam mo naman, si Lasty Makian. Si Lasty oh, Makian. Oh, grab pala, grabe naman ka still yan. Kinatatachutan, syempre, not to mention yung Terris Lady dyan. Guys, grabe na kaya Stagger na kinas dito nito para lang masidestep niya rin. Yung naman yung blast na damay naman, at least patay yung export dito ng Bren. So that is at least a one for one pa rin. I'm not sure, probably in favor of Mark Angel. That is in favor of uh, actually Bren East, uh, Bren just ba, because... Oh. Si EJ yung gumagamit nun. That's not really their core. Ah, okay. That is the core for oh, utility. Core for attack. No, oh, tama. Pag binato ka ng bato, ay pag pinalo ka ng maso, batuhin mo ng holin. Yun yung ginawa ng lunok. Ah. May kasabihan eh. Pag, diba, pag binato ka ng bato, batuhin mo ng tinapay. Oo. Oh. Dapat ganon. Pero, nasa garapon. Oo, oh, nasa garapon. <laughs> Ayan, an eye for an eye. An eye an eye. One for an eye. One for an eye. One for an eye. Seven one para sa laro natin. On to the item check, you can actually see Wow, may Star Shark dito. Very interesting build. A Star Shark. Para siyempre kay Lilia. Mayroon din Lightning Trunch na kasama. A Bloodlust Axe there onto the X-Board. And on his way for the second core item dito on Thumbs. Bren Esports taking a very solid control of this game. Yung 2.5k kanina, 6k na ngayon. 6k na ngayon. Tama ka doon paring Shin. Bren Esports dito. Si Coco nahuli. Alam mo, men, kapag ka may kotse ka na, hindi ka na dapat nahuhuli ng uh, mga ganun tambang eh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ay, yeah, nag-commute. Nasa loob ka na. Nag-commute lang. Oh, mga kaibigan. No, oh my God. A penalty zone cast. And here to multiple targets. Buhay pa rin si Lasty Mac. Tam, tam. You got it. Kilowas. May nag-gobo-gobo na. Ang dami din naman dito. Pero wala pa rin nag-garoon ng pasa. It's actually nakita mo na wala. And that's Kilowas. They're getting killed si by Yoji. Si Jet. Si Jet. Si Jet. Oh, si my Jet. God. Jeff is now online. Lasty Mac engaging. A shutdown out to Yoji. And Hayes gonna be walking away. That's a total of 2 for 2. And this is a B. Gonna be a very bloody fight here in the mid. Fire missiles dito mga Shunpo, pero that no. is it for that skirmish. That wasn't actually a flash shot. Oo, oh, ayun. Ito lang. Yeah, that was, that was a pseudo, ano sabihin natin, a pseudo clash. Oo. Oh, But oh. it was more on the skirmish side. <laughs> Piling ko nag-escalate lang. Oo, oh, nag-escalate nag lang. Nag-escalate lang eh. No? No, kumbaga, hindi naman talaga kumbaga intended na gano'n sila tumagal. Men, yung tropa mo na may kaaway, <laughs> oh. Pero, yung nandun sa may gilid, yung sumapak na oh, kaaway. Oo, oh, nak nakisapak Very lang. Very Filipino. May lang isapak Very lang. Very Filipino. Very Filipino, mga kaibigan. Sumama lang. Suma oh. Kumbaga, kunyari, may nag-away sa Facebook. Oo. Oh. Nagparinigan. Oo. Oh. Pero nag-away-away talaga, yung mga white knights. Oo, oh, pre. Oo, oh, parang gano'n. The audacity, man. The audacity yun, mga kaibigan. Let us see here. On to Lusty. That is gonna be the penalty zone, ladies and gentlemen. Pero Lusty, for the very question, the ball re-engage dito of that Terisla. Why? <laughs> Hirap pag-awan ng Joe One ito ni Lasty. Ang galing manali. Yabi. Kaso ang problema, sinasabay-sabay niya. Now, Jay here on to the side. Force the flicker out. Hinapol pa rin ni AJ dito. Na kayang last insanity. Now, on to Rio. Kulang sa damage. Bumakap si Kiluas. Nag-gobo-gobo na na rin. And now, the order of Brillas coming to use on to the top lane side. Yuji non-stopping. Kung pobola ka, mas maraming bola ako. Bolaan sila dito ngayon. Okay. The main problem para kasi dito kay Rio is... Uh, He really needs someone to help him take down etong si Yuji. Uh -huh. While si Yuji, sa totoo lang, hindi niya kailangan talaga ng kahit anong tulong dito para i-take down si Ryo. Just because when the Order, order of Brilliance gets popped, yep. hindi niya... Kay, abot. Abot pa rin niya abot eh. Na abot na si Every Ryo. places, yung mga balls niya ng tama dito. Oo, uh oo. -huh. Uh -huh. Kasi yan eh. Pina Di ba pinabagal na nga si Lunarx? Uh -huh. Unless makapag-chaos dargling siya kaagad just to close the gap on that one. Uh -huh. Pero the moment na nag-brilliance talaga si Ryo, hindi... Palayo na yun. Palayo yeah. na talaga And dapat. And if you want to get out dun sa mga ginagawa ni Yuji, you have to use Chaos Darkening na palayo. Yeah, you can never use it para humarap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because pa Panimula na yeah. sa simula oh. ng laban. No? Pinakasimula. So, ibig sabihin si Ryo dito, kung napapansin nyo yung damage output, kaya naman nila eh. Pero, tumarating sa point na hindi na nakakapalo si Ryo dito kasi yung Chaos Darkening niya, Munok palabas. <laughs> ah, di ba? Kaya sa nagkinig na pamunok palabas. Now, there it is. Here we can luwas. Ginawa lang talagang Ash. And now, on to the top late sa na kami being pulled over by the member of Bren Esports. Ang gunting na lang dito, hindi pa rin nag-check si Jeff Cutie. Kahit yes. papano, walang death yung carry ngayon ng Archangel. Lord, And uh, Jeff Cutie forever. Everything. Nakalagay na dito lahat-lahat ng oh. kanyang uh, ng load dito ng Archangel sa likod niya. Oh, oh, oh. He needs to carry this game. Yep. Lusty has been doing a spectacular job just initiating for the people na kasama niya. Pero ang pinaka-problema, laging wala sa pwesto. 
The world member dito ng Art Angel, kinukulang din sila sa AOE, but it would be ideal, would be a penalty, so kasama yung ult dito, di ba Dark? And I'm not so sure though, pero Jeff QT already has his golden stock here, sumipa si Parik J goes for the gap, and of course the flicker, then they would commit for the tower dive, no minum blast onto the flicker, missing out for the brilliance na kinas dito ni Parik Rio, lost him once again, getting burning and lambot to Terry sila dito, mega kill na chinek in then, ni Parik, EJ, actually si EJ ang na mega kill doon, sino naka mega kill ngayon? Ah, si EJ nga naka mega kill! Very nice. And the expert dito just proving to be a pain. Well, wow. Yeah, yeah. EJ Wala turret, man. Oo. Tsaka si EJ no, talaga. No, no puns intended. Oo. Uh -oh. EJ is really a pain. Uh -oh. Ngayon, para sa side ng Archangel. <laughs> Kasi, uh -oh. kung papansinin mo, the idea for Archangel to win uh -oh. is if they get etong si Yuji ng Sipa. Yes, yes. Pero, paano mo gagawin yon kung si EJ dito nasa harap at piniflame tower ka sa buka. Oo, oh, men. Hassel nun, mga kaibigan, matutus na ka talaga ng Disa or Stayer. Goes for the knock-up, way of the dragon. Naku, umipit sa pader, kaya ka ba yun? Kayo starkening. O yan na naman si EJ, ng zone out na naman. Ng oh, zone out na naman. Angel. Kasi kapag nagpaulis sa the fire missiles, that only means one thing. You are gonna eat yung last insanity ng buong buong pero si Nasty! Pwede yan, pwede yan, pero hindi pa rin. Napatay talaga yung backline dito. Natag na rin ang tower dem. Nagkinabahan dito ni Paring Yuji. EJ, gonna be sudden down. Pero Ryo, at what cost? Patay doon at pasag ngayon. Yung top lane ni Nibitor. Turret, and now they will go for the mid lane. Then, at the spread, goes for a quick victor. Dalawa na lamang natin na sa member dito ng Archangel. There are enough minion waves to go for this push. Men, ang ganda sana ng plano dun ng side ng Archangel. Kaso, the execution. Yeah. They didn't really think of it. Men, ang ginawa doon ni Lasty, pinenang iso niya yung tiles. Takit-takit demolish na lang. Hindi kasi yung base nyo may tiles yan eh. Oo, may clean up na rin. What a very clean game as well. Coming in from the brand eSports squad. Clearly malay. Well, hindi na natin alam. Ang hirap na nito i-compare talaga doon sa Grand Final Season 3, no? Iba-iba na rin yung meta dito. Pero that is clearly a gap visible there on that match on this Game 1. I I feel right now Archangel should just stick with their ane with their comfort picks. No, grab mga ganon, grab kay Lasty ganon, di ba? Yes, sabi natin the show was good, and there is a reason why show isn't as good as sabi natin yung previous seasons. The slow dun sa kanya ng Jit Kundo is out, so it doesn't really act as utility unless you hit the third Jit Kundo. Yeah, yeah. Para masetap mo. But if you don't, if you can't really go for the pickup, just don't go for.